Hello friends, it's Rick and Lisa's Kitchen in the Garden. Today is June the 7th, 2022. We have a very humble garden. I'd like to take you for a tour on our garden. Right now we have a lot of things blooming. It's just so beautiful. The, the red iris, it's just stunningly beautiful. The color, the texture, And this is my dollar fifty basket. It's just a dollar fifty. You buy some short petunias, and they bloom all summer long. There are some single petal petunias, the white, the pink, and this one with a white rim. It's just so beautiful. Looks like the Mexican girl's skirt. And there were also doubles. The doubles are really beautiful too. I mentioned it before. They look like roses. They're so beautiful. I made uh, quite a few baskets just for like less than six dollars. These are two. This is another one. So three. I bought, I put some in my garden as well. And uh, this is another basket I made at a very cheap cost. Sea thrift is blooming happily here. This is a purple columbine. It keeps going. The flowers, it just keeps coming. It's just very nice. You can cut flowers with them too. And I also put some annuals like a marigold and other things just to add some colors to. These are the purplish iris they're almost done they they have been blooming for quite a while so they're almost over and uh, those bachelor's button are pretty much done by now these are the yellow columbine they're just so pretty and I also have this uh, purplish columbine isn't that beautiful? When it starts to bloom, the inside is kind of yellowish. Now it's turning a little bit whitish. And it's allium. These flowers are very nice. You can use them as cut flowers and they last for quite a while. Let's see, Marcia. Bring you bright yellow color. Just wonderful. And that's my big clematis. It's just very nice. This Dianthus is so bright. My husband said he has to wear sunglasses to look at them. This is the bush clematis. It starts to bloom. The flowers are very nice. It's uh, loaded with flower buds everywhere. So it's going to bloom spectacularly. I'm really, really happy with it. These are my garlic chives. I've cut them twice already. They grew back very quick. They're good for dumplings. This is the catmint. Catmint has a very nice, pleasant, uh, purplish flowers. They can be uh, nice cut flowers as well. They will last for quite a few days, about a week or so. And they are good uh, pollinator attractors. When you have a cat in your garden, uh, bees and uh, all pollinators are attracted to it. These are stem lettuce. They're doing very nice, very happy. And these are my green, be green onions. I gave them a haircut yesterday. They can be good material for dumplings, stir fries. You can make soup. I cut them and freeze them for later use. This is another clematis. It's loaded with flowers. It's just unbelievable. It's so beautiful. From top to bottom, it's loaded. Look at that. It, I'm just so happy with it. Every day I come to see it and say hello to the beautiful flowers. These are my Chinese lettuce. We put a, a mesh tent over it because of the uh, rabbits and uh, 
squirrels and all those friends. They get very nice and juicy. I just started them in the, from seeds in April and now they're doing very well. I harvested them for dumplings and for soup. And on the side, that's kale. It's, they are developing very well. Behind the kale, that is uh, arugula. A lot of people don't know what arugula is. They are spicy. They are, in Chinese, they, called, they are called sesame uh, leafy stuff. They taste a little bit like sesame paste. These are the edible chrysanthemum. They taste pretty good. And uh, we also have a lot of uh, dill. I have been harvesting dill like crazy. These are the strawberries. They start to form fruits. They look doing very well. But you just have to fight off with all kinds of rodents. See, they're doing well. Again, we have to use the uh, mesh tent to protect the fruits. You might seem to have very good fruits, but then overnight, they could just disappear to feed your other friends. This is my salad garden. I have kale, two kinds of kale. The green one, that's my green kale, doing well. I did that from cuttings. These are two called uh, Russian red. They are reddish uh, kale. And I also have uh, green leafy lettuce and the pointy green leaf lettuce, red leaf lettuce. And uh, I had some ridicule. <laughs> ridicule, that's an interesting name. And uh, some salaries are doing very well. And I have a lot of uh, mustard green. They are very good too for soup, for salad. You can just uh, mix them in to add a little bit of extra flavor. They are nice and uh, fat leaves, very good. They can make, make good uh, preservative vegetables as well. These are green beans. As you can see, they are developing very nicely. They start to climb grab the twine and uh, going up. This is the tomato plant I uh, put in from the cutting. And this is the other one I did from the cutting. They are all developing pretty nicely. I don't have any doubt that they will not do well. This is the mother plant I did the cutting from, the tomato plant. This is the other columbine I have. It's just so beautiful, the pink. It's just so nice with the purple uh, cadmium in the back. It's just the contrast is just wonderful. This is Japanese iris. They are tiny and delicate. Very, very beautiful. Yeah, the texture and uh, very beautiful. So this is a brief tour to my garden on a rainy day today thank you for watching keep gardening